Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up Back WP Up, the free WordPress backup plugin. Back WP Up is an excellent WordPress backup plugin. It's been around for a long time, trusted by a lot of people. Uh, they're saying over 9 million downloads already. So I've used this for a long time and uh, I've enjoyed using it as well. So let's go through back WP up. Let's go ahead and search for backup in plugins. So I'm in plugins, add new, and I search for backup. We can see that still a very popular option, back WP up. It's not as popular as say Updraft Plus, but still doing quite well. So let's go ahead and install back WP up. So once that's all installed, go ahead and click activate, wait for that to activate. So after we are active, we'll get this screen and it will say, it's going to ask to collect data from our WordPress site. No personal data. You don't actually have to click this. You can just close that and scroll down. It'll give you a little bit of an introduction about its uh, uh, features and the free versus pro comparison. It looks like you get a lot in the free version. You can back up to um, Microsoft Azure, Dropbox, Amazon, Google Storage. A lot of these things uh, you can back up to, but you can't actually restore things in the free version. So you can do backups. And if you ever need to use a backup, that's when you'd have to actually buy it. So, I mean, it's a good sort of a, a just in case sort of plug in. So let's go ahead and try it out, shall we? So let's go to um, uh, add a new job. So this is how the backup plugin works. It actually works by these things called jobs. Um, by default, the job is called new job. Uh, you can name it whatever you like in there. So I'm just going to call it uh, test, test one. And then we want to do a database backup. You can do a full file backup. You can do the install plugins list. Let's get rid of the file backup because that takes a long time. I'm just going to do a database backup for this example. And you've got some options for file naming. You can leave that default. And where should you send it? For this case, you can just send it to a folder on your WordPress site, uh, which is convenient. It's not as secure as putting it somewhere else. You can connect a Dropbox uh, or you can connect an FTP. Um, however you like to do that, you can do um, your offsite backups. But for this case, let's just do a local backup on the folder. And then let's just click Save Changes. So the changes are all saved. We can run the, the job by clicking Run Now, or we can find our jobs under our Jobs tab here as well. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. So there we go. We've got our test one there. And let's just run that job right now. So you get a little progress bar. Because it's just a database, it was done in a very short time, one second, and we were all done with that backup. So now we can actually have a look at our backups. They are sitting here, just click backups. And you can see there's our backup that we did. So we can actually just download that. And um, I just clicked on it there. Your download has been generated. It should be downloading momentarily. There we go. We've got our zip file and we can keep that in a safe location as well. So we've got a local backup and we've got a remote backup on our computer here. So we can save that somewhere else um, and we're good to go. The one thing we can't do is restore this backup in the free version. So if we wanted to uh, restore something, we'd have to go and get the pro version of um, back WP up. But this is quite light, quite simple, and quite easy to apply. So um, I don't mind it in terms of its backup. I just wish they would give us a restore function in the free version. So now let's go back to our jobs and let's look at the scheduling functionality of BackWP Up. So we are in our jobs and let's have a look at that test job again. So under the uh, job settings, you can have a look at the schedule here. So um, wait for that to load up. Now, back WP up by default, it only runs the jobs manually. So you'd have to go to your job and run the job for it to work. You can run it from a link and then you could have something set up and click the link whenever you want the job to run. Or you could run it with um, WordPress cron with easy cron. Um, you have to sign up and get the API key to do that. And then you can run a scheduler set up a scheduler. I'm not going to go up and do that because you have to sign up to EasyCron. There's a free plan, so you can actually you can actually run the backup uh, scheduler for free. But um, they've obviously set up an affiliate link. I think it says here, um, uh, affiliate link somewhere. 
And if you hover on that easy cron there, it says affiliate link. So they're trying to um, make a bit of revenue by linking to easy cron. Uh, I think uh, updrafts, you can do scheduling for free without going to any other extra effort. So I think uh, if you want scheduled backups, I probably recommend updraft. But if you're happy just doing manual or if you're wanting to use uh, WPCLI, that's the command line interface. So that's more developer level if you want to uh, use your jobs from the command line. But um, I think manually is going to be the easiest for most users in this situation. So I'm just going to leave it on that one and click save changes. Now the rest of the settings we can leave pretty much as default, but I will just briefly go through these other tabs. The DB backup lets you choose which uh, tables you want to back up. You probably want to back up all the tables anyway, which are dis uh, they are selected by default anyway. So you can add gzip compression if you want a bit of compression, but it doesn't really need it. They're not huge files. Um, same with the plugins file, you can customize that and add compression and uh, you can customize the folder where your backups go, but again, it's not really that important. File deletion is how many copies of the backup you want to keep. So it will keep 15, your most recent 15 backups, and then it will delete the oldest one. So you might want to change that actually, like you might want to keep say 30 and then save changes. Depends how often you back up. If you're backing up a lot, you might want to keep more. If you don't back up very often, then maybe 20 or 12. If you're doing once a month, you could get, keep a whole um, 12 backups, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, just pick a number that suits your own function. Um, and then finally, um, it's a shame I couldn't do a restore demonstration because the free version doesn't have restore in there. You'd need to go and buy this pro version. But the good news is, um, it's really not that expensive, $69 and then renewal of $39. So I think for uh, the functionality that you get, you get quite um, quite high level professional functionality uh, that will work for a lot of different enterprise solutions for fairly uh, low price, to be honest. So I think that's probably why it still has quite a large following of users. And so definitely consider this as one of your options when you're looking at a backup solution for WordPress. But that really wraps it up. Hopefully it's been useful. Um, drop a comment or give me a like or um, just subscribe. I'm going to come back with some more uh, info on uh, WordPress security, WordPress um, um, general skills in my next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.